Hi everyone, my name is Alex Flint and welcome to my channel, Meteorologist Chasing Fire. This channel is about being transparent on my investing portfolios, what I'm trying to do to achieve fire, and showing off a few tools that I made along the way. And I'm excited today to showcase which investing brokerage platform I use and my dividend growth investing portfolio. So two years ago, before the pandemic, I know which feels a long time ago, I started to invest and picking the right platform takes time and research and is an important step. After two years, I would like to share a few things of why I like Public. Public is a rather new brokerage, fresh and modern way to invest. Public offers a commission-free trading platform that allows users to invest in stocks, buy fractional shares, fee-free by the way, exchange traded funds, alternative assets, cryptocurrencies, bonds, treasury bills, option trading, has a high yield savings account, there is AI and chat GPT, and you can also sign up for public premium. This is a one-stop shop for all of your needs, and the only extras I wish they would have are retirement accounts and a custodial account. The platform is designed to be user-friendly and accessible to investors on all levels. And, there, and the next thing I'd like to talk about is the key features that I enjoy most and that are unique about public. Most of the time, when you invest with older brokerages, you invest, they confirm that you invested, and that's it. A unique aspect of public is allowing users to follow other investors and post updates on what they're thinking, investing, and how they're feeling. Kind of like Instagram, other types of social media. You can post why you bought a stock or why you sold it, start discussions online, and sometimes if you're really lucky, you can troll a few people for laughs. You can do polls, showcase stock data, which I think is cool and interesting of how people feel about certain topics, and link news articles. This can be a great way to learn from experienced investors, find new investment opportunities, and also invest with like-minded people. One of the harder aspects of investing is being consistent. Having the ability to automate your investments makes it easier to have that set it to forget it mindset, which is a pivot point in investing. Public a year ago didn't have this feature, and when your life is ramping up and having to manually deposit the money and invest it makes it harder to be consistent. Now with public, you can make your own investment plans, like with M1 Finance, you can make your own pie up to 20 stocks or ETFs. You have total control and pick which date and how much you would like to deposit or invest with. They also provide a large catalog of plans which you can choose from, including categories like risk tolerance. You can invest in bond strategies for income. You can invest in different thematic themes, including artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, climate change, or healthcare. You can invest and you can invest in a certain geographic region. Additionally, they have different sector plans, including for consumer st staples, technology, and, and healthcare. The only small drawback of public is that if you don't have public premium, you will have to pay a small fee, but this can range from a few cents to 50 cents, depending on how much you're investing with. However, it's worth it. My wife loves it. She doesn't have time nor cares to manually invest during the workday. And plus, it allows you to automate your investing and dollar cost average into a portfolio, which is what I do and what I love. Anytime I can automate anything related to finances is a goal for me. And the saying goes that I say, automation sets you free. I too once traded crypto, what feels like a long time ago. And I thought this was it. This was the key to making money. However, now I won't touch Dogecoin or Bitcoin with a 10 and a half foot pole. But if that is your scratch to itch, then public has you covered with back crypto. Like investing in stocks or ETFs, you can also automate your investments and stay informed with the latest news on crypto. Another unique aspect of public is that you can even invest in royalties like the Shrek franchise music. Would you follow the core and selling method? I think this would be a really cool satellite to have in your portfolio and be also be something that you can brag and bring up to your friends. Lastly, in the alternative category, public offers opportunity to invest in other assets, including artwork like the police car from Bansky or shoes like the Air Jordans. And you can even relive your childhood memories and invest and hold the first edition Charizard. I know more invest in stocks or ETFs and preparing for this video, I was shocked by the sheer amount of what else you can invest in. Again, following the core and satellite approach, public gives you the option to add a satellite that you personally like and love or emotional about. And for me, it would definitely have to be that first edition Charizard. 
Moving on, one of Huawei's newest product in the already long line of products is the addition of a high yield savings account. Right now, the current rate is 5.1%, which I think is the one of the highest in the nations. And there are no fees, no minimums, or subscriptions when you open the account, which is a nice place to hold cash for investment opportunities. Additionally, it is also FDIC insured up to 5 million buckaroos, and this is useful if you want to set cash aside for investment or a good place to hold your emergency fund. And again, the cool thing about Public is that it has so many products and there is no need to have several accounts. So I wonder what else Public offers. Yep, Public even has options trading. If you, if you use options to generate income or to spice things up in your investing world, Public offers option trading with a plethora of benefits, including, I think, some of the lowest fees on option trading platform-wise. I would not go into this because I don't understand options at all, but we'll leave all the links I've shown today in the description below. I wonder if AI will join the chat. At this point in life, AI or chat GPT like interfaces are everywhere, and now brokers platforms are using them as well. When Public first released this, I thought, why? It seemed odd to have an AI ChatGPT user interface on a Vesu platform, but after using it for a little bit, having an AI user interface is nice. One of my favorite things about Alpha is that it will give you a quick summary of one of your investments, whether it jumped up 5% or is having a bad day and down 5%. I think this is nice and saves me trouble from figuring out what the hell's going on with my investment. Plus, they can summarize earning calls, screen for investments, and evaluate investments, and honestly, it's a neat tool to have. Another aspect of why I rate Public so highly is that Public also offers a wide range of educational resources to aid investors' financial literacy and to make better informed investment decisions. If you're new to investing, there's a lot to learn. From what all these acronyms mean, to what the hell is a T-bill, how to invest or what to invest in, and most importantly, understanding retirement accounts. It is nice that Public has these short reads on investing in a nice and user-friendly setup to allow newer investors or those who are just curious about investing to educate themselves about investing and financial literacy. Just going through what Public offers, Public has articles about the start, about the start market, investing, options trading, different ways to get fixed income, and especially for us younger folks, articles about different retirement accounts. So you may be wondering at this point, are there fees? I've shown you all this goodness that public offers, but you may be wondering, what's the catch? Well, from my experience, there are fees, but they're very tiny. They can range from a few, from a few cents to about 50 cents. Nonetheless, public is very public about their fees, no pun intended, as I highlight their uh, statement here. Uh, they have full transparency and they have a breakdown for each fee or for each cost per transaction or whatever you buy. Uh, scrolling through the page, I haven't seen anything that is jaw dropping. Uh, they do ha they do list all the fees and looking over it again. Nothing is ridiculous or something that would alarm me. But if you're curious to know more about their fees, I will leave a link in the in the description below. So I, I hope that was a good but brief overview of Public. Um, overall, I have really enjoyed trading on Public and is a solid and modern platform to uh, invest, save crypto, invest in treasury bills or invest in bonds, options trading, or honestly, whatever your heart so desires. It is a one-stop shop with zero hidden fees. The app and website are refreshing compared to other, to other older platforms like Fidelity, Charles Schwab, or Vanguard. Another cool thing that Public has is a social media platform within the app and website, and I don't think any other platform has that, which was what um, makes Public so unique. So if you, if you are interested in investing with Public, I will leave a link below in the uh, description. If you do sign up and invest with Public, this is what your home screen will look like on the website. By the way, their app is even better and it's both clean and user friendly. But now I want to quickly showcase my portfolio and what I invest in. Currently, my portfolio sits around 33000 and my portfolio is mainly made up of dividend growth ETFs and what I think are high quality st stocks. The dividend growth ETFs that I invest in are SHD, DGRO, DGRW, and the newest one being FDVV. On the stock side of my portfolio, I invest in what I believe, believe to be our compounding machines that will help on the growth side of my portfolio and give me that little oomph. 
So my portfolio uh, did not look like what it did today a month ago. I made major changes to my portfolio and sold out of five positions. I sold out of Johnson & Johnson, APD, Texas Instruments, Next Area Energy, and Comcast. There was nothing wrong with these companies and they're all good companies. But the major change was to put more money into ETFs than stocks and to concentrate in higher quality stocks that grow faster and have a strong, healthy dividend growth rate. The other changes I made were to add two monthly paying dividend ETFs, uh, which they are JEPQ and DDT. So in my portfolio now, I have three ETFs, including DGRW, that pay monthly. And the reason why I wanted that is that when I can retire or be financially independent, I want the income to be spread out and not focus on four months. And I think it'd be really hard and stressful if I was budgeting monthly and I'm only gonna get paid four months out of the year. Um, and so mostly my method of investing is to follow the core and satellite methodology. Um, I have 60% of the ETFs and 40% stocks. I dollar cost, uh, dollar cost average each week on a Friday. Why Friday? Just like it. It's a good way to start the weekend. And so and with that, um, that's, that's a quick and dirty look at my portfolio. I will go into deeper depth in another video. And that do it for the video. Um, thanks for watching and sticking around. If you like the content, please leave a like and subscribe. Next video, we'll go over in one finance and the portfolios I have in there. And also, by the way, this video is for entertainment purposes. I am not a charter financial advisor or planner, just a meteorologist, meteorologist who likes finances and math. Alrighty, see you next time.